Hello and welcome to the Linkerd for DCOS demo. In this video, we're going to show you how to do an easy blue-green deploy of a service within a multi-service architecture by using traffic shifting. We are starting out with a completely empty DCOS cluster running on six nodes. Okay, so let's get Linkerd installed. Now, Linkerd is actually split into two separate packages for DCOS, the first of which is called Namerd. Namerd will act as the centralized traffic policy controller, so it will run on the cluster and contain the traffic configuration for every application running on the DCOS cluster. We will give it a unique configuration file name, and for demo purposes, we'll set the number of instances to one. Of course, in production, you probably want to run more than one. Then we'll hit install, and success. The package is being deployed to our DCOS cluster. If we check our Marathon dashboard, we can see that the status is deploying. Now, while that's happening, let's go ahead and install the other package called Linkerd. Similar to before, we're going to hit Install Package, and we're going to give this a custom configuration file name. Now, in contrast to Namerd, we're going to set the number of instances to be equal to the number of nodes in the cluster. This is important because we want Linkerd to be installed on every node in the DCOS cluster. Now, if we go back to our Marathon dashboard, we will see that both Linkerd and Namerd have been deployed and are now running on the cluster. So first things first, let's look at our Linkerd dashboard. As you might expect, there is no traffic going through the cluster at all. We can also ask Namerd to tell us what its default traffic routing policy is. Sometimes it's a little easier to handle this on the command line. So we'll use our command line tool, namercuddle. We'll point it to the existing namerd instance that's running on our cluster, and will tell us to describe the default traffic routing policy. In this case, what we see is we will route on HTTP host names. The default host name, if one is not specified, will correspond to a service named web, and otherwise we'll try and look the host names up directly in Marathon. Now let's try and actually deploy our application. So our sample app is a microservices-based bookshelf manager, and it has three services. One is called Authors, one is called Books, and one is called Web. If we look in our Marathon dashboard, we can see those three services being deployed to the cluster. Now if we load up the UI for the app, we'll see that it is indeed running, and the application, of course, provides us with a way of adding and removing books and authors so that we can keep our bookshelf up to date. Now swapping back to the Linkerd dashboard, we'll see we're picking up those service names directly from Marathon, and we're seeing a little bit of traffic from my browser. So now that the app is up and running, let's try doing a blue-green deploy of one of the services within the application. The first thing we're going to do is pick one of the services to change. In this case, we'll edit books.rb, our book service, and we'll make a modification where at the end of every title of every book, we're going to append the words on DCOS. We'll call this books v2. We'll package it up as a Docker image and get it prepped to be deployed to our DCOS cluster. Now, once we have books v2 running on our DCOS cluster, what we'll see is we will be able to shift traffic between the two services based on an arbitrary percentage, not based on the number of instances. We'll also be able to express things like failover between services using the same mechanism. So, now we have Books v2 deployed to our Docker private repo, and from here we'll be able to install it into our DCOS cluster. So the image has been successfully pushed, and we'll make a quick marathon configuration for the new version of our service. In this case, we'll start with the existing version, and we'll just add a tag, dash v2, and we'll point it to the corresponding Docker image. Okay, now we're finally ready to deploy Books v2 to the DCOS cluster. Once it's deployed, we'll be able to then start sending traffic to it by using Namerd to control the global traffic routing policy. While we wait for Books v2 to be deployed to our DCOS cluster, we can open up the configuration and we'll see that Books v2, as well as Authors and Web, all the services in our microservice application, function by routing their RPC calls through Linkerd, which acts as a proxy.
Linkerd runs on a fixed port, and by acting as a proxy for all RPC traffic, Linkerd is able to route that traffic appropriately by communicating with Namerd to get the latest traffic policy. Now that we have Books v2 deployed to our DCOS cluster, we're ready to see how we can all work together. One quick way to test whether things are set up correctly is to talk to Linkerd directly. Because in this case we're using HTTP for our RPC mechanism, we can simply talk to Linkerd with curl, and we can ask it to proxy requests to the book service. In this case, we'll take the title of the first book returned in JSON format. We can do a similar thing with Books v2. Note that Linkerd is looking up the service destinations directly from Marathon. We saw that earlier when looking at the routing config. And as you would expect, the title of the book returned from Books v2 has the words on DCOS added at the end. Now let's make things a little more interesting. Let's run some traffic through the cluster. We'll run our simulate traffic script in the background, and we'll see the Linkerd dashboard immediately reflects the new traffic going through the cluster. Okay, so now let's apply some global traffic routing policy in order to do our blue green deploy. We'll use our namer cuddle command to communicate with namerd and get our default existing routing policy. And we'll copy all that text because we're going to make a new version. We'll dump it into a file. And let's edit to file to add a new rule. In this case, we'll have a rule that says all traffic to books will be split between two endpoints, books, the original books, and books v2, our new books. And in fact, we're going to split it with a 1 to 9 ratio. So 90% of the traffic will be going to the original book service, and 1% will be going to the new books v2 service. So now let's save that file, and we'll use namer cuddle again, this time not to read the policy, but to set the policy globally across the entire application. If you're wondering, the syntax for these routing rules is called DTAB syntax. It's documented extensively at linkerd.io, so no need to be scared. Now, as you can see, immediately we start seeing 10% of traffic going to Books v2, which is a blue line down there. Okay, let's do a similar thing. 10% seems to be okay. So now let's shift it to 50 50. With no numbers in the rule, Traffic will be split evenly between the two services. Once again, we'll tell Namerd to update its policy, and we'll see that immediately 50% of the traffic is sent to Books, and 50% is sent to Books v2, as expected. If we go back to our application UI, when we hit refresh a couple times, you'll see that roughly 50% of the requests get the new version, and 50% get the old one. Now let's do something a little more complicated. Let's edit our routing policy, only instead of splitting traffic, let's express a failover. So the pipe syntax means that traffic will be sent entirely to books v2 unless books v2 is unreachable, in which case all traffic will be sent back to our original books service. We've updated our policy, and we can see that immediately no traffic is going to books, and 100% of our traffic is going to Books v2. If we hit refresh in our web UI, we'll see that we are getting the Books v2 version of the app 100% of the time. Now let's do something terrible. Let's destroy the Books v2 version of the service directly from within DCOS. Instruct Marathon to delete the service, and watching our Linkerd dashboard, we'll see that immediately traffic shifts away from Books v2 and back onto Books. This failover mechanism is a powerful tool for ensuring site reliability, and also can be used to failover across data centers. Finally, if we go back to our application UI, we'll see that as expected, we have the original version of the service. So that concludes our demo of percentage-based blue-green deploys and cross-service failover. 
be sure to check out Linkerd.io for much more.